your peace. Try to relax, okay? I'm here, boss. I'm ready. Six months. <laughs> this, he claims, is a workplace. Took off $12,000 last year. <laughs> yeah, gets attorney of the year. His wife deducts her hair appointment. What are you doing? You're just signed out to 7 a.m., okay? I know. Are you sure you're up for this? You need a minute? Yeah. Yeah? No, no. Good. No. Come on, let's go. I'm, I'm ready. me because I'm the best yeah I'll be there I'll be there all right I'm the best you know what happens on a kidnapping case start out crying on your shoulders by the end they're asking for your ass I can handle this sir you know the odds? 50 to 1. That was then. This is now. How'd the father know to call the FBI? 
Must have dealt with the feds before. Hotshot lawyer and knows his business. Definitely thinks he knows ours. You and your wife are split now, aren't you? It's temporary. Kids? A son. You're not in turmoil of trying to find your inner self now, are you? I'm at one with the universe, sir. I make the jokes. You're hysterical, sir. I want you to work with Agent Yee here. You OK with that? Do I have a choice? No. If you believe in her, sir, she must be outstanding. Don't yank my chain. All right. The guy's half as good as he thinks he is. I'm lucky to have him. I suspect he's a train wreck waiting to happen. Sir. Look, don't let him irritate the victims, and for God's sake, don't let him near the media. Well, Oliver, you were most cooperative. I'll make sure the warden hears about it. Give the man an extra chocolate pudding. He earned it. Good luck with the parole board. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So how old are you? 30. Why? You work out? Yes. Why? Uh, 30 is a tough age for women. You an expert? No, babe, just observant. Oh, God, I hate guys like you. What kind of guys are those? Little guys that think they're better than everybody else. Guys that think they're studs. Guys that never listen. Oh, babe, you don't know me at all. <sighs> babe says it all. What do you got? Some dirt from the planter in the back, otherwise nothing. I can't even say how he got in. He. It's usually they. You see this? Pete. It's dusted. Mr. and Mrs. JC, this is Pete Honeycutt, who's heading up the investigation. Hi. Hi. Mr. JC, have you had a recent burglary? Last week. Why? The reason I ask is one of the windows in your dining room has been reputtied. I probably rekeyed one of the doors, put in a cylinder that any key would open. Do you have any personal enemies? You mean someone I beat in a business deal, that sort of thing? The notes said vindictively destroyed. No. Probably jailhouse rhetoric. I'm willing to bet these guys did time. Now, sir, I've ordered a tap and trace. When the call comes in, act naturally. Don't try to stall. In any case, there's no need to worry. I appreciate your saying that. Insist on proof they have your son. Do you have any nicknames for Kevin? His grandmother calls him Kale. And you'll hear within 48 hours. Are you speaking from experience, Mr. Honeycutt? I'm 35 years old. I've been an agent for 13 years, and I know LA like the back of my hand. You will see Kenny again. Kevin. Kevin. I'm confident of that. Unharmed. That's usually the case, isn't it? That's what my husband tells me. It's basically a business transaction. Your husband's absolutely right. They're in it for the money. That's all it boils down to. Think they bought that? She did. He didn't. I gotta keep the morale up. Last thing we need is a basket case. Kenny, that was good for morale. Help! Hey, hey, hey. Help! Hey, 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 hey. Help! Easy. I thought we were going to be quiet as mice here. The nearest house is five miles away, friend. The nearest road is a mile away. These walls are soundproof. Don't do any good to scream. What are these? These too tight? Hmm? How about down here? Are they too tight? Mm -mm. Okay. Don't make me have to tie them any tighter, all right? You're a good boy, Kevin. Bet your pals on the swim team miss you. Even if your daddy died. Now take it easy. Hey, boys. Hey, how you doing? That was so cool. Yeah, I know. Hey, concentrate. Put your hand. Put your hand. Good. All right, next, let's go. Go, go, go! Okay. Let's go, now. Hold it up. You look good. 
Thanks. We won last week. I scored eight points. Yeah, your mom told me I, I had to work. I know. It's OK. You need a haircut. So do you. Well, I'll make an appointment for us. OK. When are you coming home? I, I, I don't know. I'm soon. By the weekend? I have to talk to your mom. Uh, she's a little mad at me. I think she misses you. Did she say something? No, but I can tell. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I, I miss, miss you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Will you meet my game? Definitely. Definitely. Go on. Where'd they put you? Halfway house up on Bayview. I took the bus. Don't worry. Nobody's seen me. Uh, I'm not worried. I assume that's for me. Are you sure we're up to this? Big plans for you, pal. Grand design. How long since the first call came in? About 30 minutes. Hello. Hello, Bert. Speaking. Yeah, listen, uh, I want you to take a Sunset Boulevard to the Coast Highway. There's a gas station right there on the corner. It's got a pay phone. Why don't you just go there and uh, wait for instructions? Is that at the beach? <laughs> no, 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 Bert, come on, don't play dumb with me. You remember the uh, Sea and Shore Club, right? Now listen, why don't you let me speak to the uh, agent in charge? Yeah. Honey, cut. Who is this? This is Dr. Know-it-all, Petey. Listen, why don't you uh, tear up that uh... list of suspects you got, OK? Believe me, you have never dealt with anybody like me. Oh, and uh, keep your nose out of this, all right? Otherwise, the JC boy is chicken fried steak. Got it? We get that? Not enough time. We'll be six blocks behind you at all times. Why can't we just send them the money? Why all these cars? Rachel, let him do his job. Once your husband gives up the money, we follow it back to where they've got Kevin. Won't they know that you're following? I'll make sure they don't. Harrison? Yeah. You're in the trunk. Ah, oh, stop bitching. They used to put me in the glove compartment. Good luck. Kevin, I have to go out for a little while. Now listen to me. If I find out you tried to untie yourself, I'm gonna have to give you more pain than you can possibly imagine. So don't try to wiggle free. How will you know I moved? See that? Instant replay. If I die, you don't get the money. That's true, but you're assuming I'm a rational human being. Okay, time to find out how much Daddy loves you. Hello, 
Hi, buddy. What are you doing here all by yourself? I'm waiting on somebody. Hello. Hi, Bert. That's your pal. This is the fourth place you've sent me. I know that. Now I want you to be somewhere else. So get in your car, come downtown, Santa Monica Freeway, get off at First Street exit, pull under the freeway, and there's another payphone right there. Got it? Yes. But why? <laughs> because you want to see your progeny again. Alive. Now, no FBI. No media. And, oh, by the way, you might want a second opinion on that uh, orthodonture. He wants me to go to another phone booth. What's the difference between a hurricane, a tornado, and an ex-wife? Nothing. They all get the house. Oh, you, you heard it already? Yeah. He wants me to go to another phone booth. Bert, that's the procedure. Rattle and confuse. The first street exit under the bridge. He knows everything about me. Bert, he's been to your home. He knows about you too, Pete. What can I say? He's done his homework. You OK? You want to go through with this? No, yes. Let's get it over with. Okay. Look, he said no FBI. It's the way things are done. Harrison knows what he's doing. Don't worry. The first street bridge is three miles away. We'll be in radio contact at all times. Okay, hey guys, hold tight. It's moving out. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Hear you loud and clear. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine, Bert. Is this really necessary? Yes. You learn this stuff anyhow. Warner Brothers. You're kidding. Would I kid you, Oliver? Are you all right? Why don't you take a couple of deep breaths? Good idea. He took him to a dead zone. My son.
he knew about radio dead zones. Why does that make him law enforcement? A dead zone in the middle of L.A.? A cop would have access to FBI database. A cop would know that I've been assigned. Uh, interesting conjecture, but at the moment, we'd all rather have the boy. Mr. J.C., the search for your son has become the Bureau's number one priority. I read you the license plate. Why haven't you found the car? Bert, we checked the plate. The number you gave us doesn't exist. You keep calling me Bert. Uh, Mr. J.C., I have every confidence in Agent Honeycutt. I'm sure you do. And I know Pete is very confident. I know that because Pete tells me every chance he gets. Meanwhile, my son is at the mercy of a madman. A madman who has my money. Kevin is a witness. Why shouldn't he kill him? I would in his place. What has he got to lose? His honor? He may demand a second payment. And what do I do then? How long does this go on? Only one child ever held for ransom has been returned alive. Isn't that true? Where did you hear that? On the news. I assume that's why you're trying to keep the media at bay. Because you know this whole effort is doomed to failure. Mr. J.C., one child, that's simply untrue. Fortunately, my wife wasn't watching at the time. I'm sure you're doing the best you can. I'm sorry. What do you think your mom's doing about right now, Kevin? Crying. How about your dad? My dad doesn't cry. Yeah, you sure know your parents. Moms care. Dad, don't. <sighs> uh, Mr. Furman, how many of these cars do you actually use for, for business? All of them. All of them? Hmm. 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 Okay, now over here we have um, $23,500 in medical expenses and only uh, $10,300 in payments to doctors. It's for medication. Excuse me? For my little boy. Oh, for your little boy. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I have enough to go on here. That will conclude the interview. What do you mean, you think you have enough to go on? Is that some kind of threat? A threat? <laughs> Mr. Furman, I'm just a civil servant. Now, don't worry about it. We'll be in touch. Oh, and have a good time in Italy. All right, we'll give him a week, and then we'll start negotiations. I thought we were looking for a conviction. No, 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 no. First, we get the money. Then we go for the convictions. Game, very big game. Wait up. So hands up, hands up on D now. Hands up on D, hands up, hands up. Hi. Lily, Pete's partner. Yeah, his wife. All right, okay, okay, all right. Game started at 4.30. Really? Probably why it's the fourth quarter. Pick him up, pick him up. Hands up, hands up on D, hands up on D. Charging, oh. charging right there, charging, 1-1. One, one. Locking? Oh, come on! What, are you kidding me? Blocking, he had, he had position, didn't he? Hey, position? sit down or they'll throw you out again. He had position. Hands up, look, you, you got three seconds here. You got, look, you got three seconds. No, he was in the lane for about a minute. He, they're ahead by 12 with 20 seconds left. Give it a rest.
pointer? No, nah, I was late. I missed it. Mohammed? Hey, we're going for pizza. You want to come? I, I can't, son. Uh, I've got a case. It's a uh, kidnapping. Yeah, we, uh, we saw it on the news. Why don't you go get a soda? Nice job. Thanks for coming. Nah, uh, see you later. Yeah, thanks for coming. <sighs> this case is huge. Beth. Oh, I'm aware how important you are. See, right there. That's why I had to leave. Why? Because I won't take Come on, it. Beth, I'm not like you. I can't make 100 grand a year working 9 to 6. I work for the government. You knew about it's that. It's not about, about the job. That. Yes, it is about it the job. It was never about the it's job. About the it was job. about the overtime. The fact that there was always something that kept you away from home. That's just who you it are. It is not who I am. Yes, you're a little boy. Arguing. You will never grow up. Pete. What? We got a break. The vehicle? Retarding fibers in the trunk. Kevin's PJs. Any blood? No, two containers of gasoline. Did you catch this? It's two plates. Welded together and painted over. Very artistic. You know who knows this stuff? Cops. So do robbers. He welds the plates together so he can't trace the car, and then when he's finished, he leaves it in the middle of a baseball field. He's rubbing our noses in it, saying you can't nail me. I know everything you know. I'm going to mess with your heads until you scream for mercy. Hey, Pete, take a look at this clump of white powder. It's damp. He's a very smart guy. You're sure only one guy brought you here? I think so. Look, I'm not sure. I couldn't see anything. He had me blindfolded. Think hard, Kevin. He kept saying my dad didn't love me. What did he look like? I don't know. It was dark. You said he lifted the blindfold and looked you right in the eye. Think. I don't remember. You're not trying. He had a scar. Here. Scar. That narrows the field. You like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the dress is not bad either. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a very nasty man. Exactly. <laughs> but generous. Very generous. Mm -hmm. Remember that.
back in a couple of days. We have to spring Reardon again. We need a lookout. What's with the lookouts? I feel like I'm back in the third grade. Well, you better start growing up soon. You are about to solo. You can't do it at night. The kid's got asthma. The room is wired for sound. His dad's got a 38 in the night table, so you're going to have to talk your way in. Why me? Why not you? Don't you think you're ready? My dad used to always say, hold him tight and let him go. Don't worry, you'll be stellar. That means outstanding. It's diatomaceous earth. What is? The white powder I found in the stolen fluid. It's used in swimming pool filters. We found the owner of the car. She doesn't have a pool, doesn't service pools, doesn't work for a company that makes or uses DE. DE? Diatomaceous earth. What is that? I'll come back later. And I'm, I'm listening. How does this help us? We've got no witnesses. Kevin J.C. gave us nothing. The father never got a proper look at the kidnappers. We may need this to get a conviction. No. I see. Excuse me. He's not through with me yet. Through with you. Us. The Bureau. Pete, can I tell you why you're taking this so personally? I know. I know. Because I have a son and I feel guilty about not being in his life. A rogue cop, whoever he is, is using cop knowledge for private gain, something I was specifically trained not to do. Plus, if I screw up again, the director's gonna ship my ass to Louisiana. Am I leaving anything out? Whenever you get a chance. Hi. 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 We need to talk. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, sit down. Did, um, did you tell Sam that it was my fault you moved out? No. I told him I wanted to come home, but you were angry. So, uh, as usual, you assume no responsibility. I want to come home. Doesn't work for me. Well, what about Sam? <sighs> Don't talk to me about Sam. All he wants is to be with you, and you barely give him the time of day. How often have you been to see him in the last three months? I used to see him every day when I was home. You looked over the paper at him at breakfast, which I cooked. You played ball with him on weekends, and then you looked in on him sleeping when you got home at night, the nights you did get home. You weren't present. I work, Beth. I work, too. You want to be a father? He finished at school at 3. Nothing would make him happier than to spend time with his dad this weekend. I'm in the middle of a case. The Chasey boy is home now, isn't he? Take a break. I'll pick him up at 3. OK? One thing. Where's the school? I'm kidding. What do you mean? I'm your father. Is mom okay? She's great. Hmm. You need some help? What should we do when you're finished? I don't care. What do you do with your mom? Eat dinner. shop. Hiya, Arthur Milo, Internal Revenue. Reason? Need him to identify some evidence. And expected time of return? Um, uh, oh, give me about five or six hours.
So, how's your sister? Oh, much better since you killed the order. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I was put on this earth to help others. God knows what the others are doing here. <laughs> Vindictively, not viciously. Sorry. Look alive, Roy. Delivery, floral paradise. Come on in. Here you go. I'll take care of the van. Break a leg. Another kidnapping? When did it happen? Yeah. No, no, okay. No, 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 I'll be there. I'll be there. Today we shop, right? I'm sorry about breakfast. We gotta do an errand. Two more plates welded together. Same guy, same M.O. Same rubbing our noses in it. Keep an eye on him, will ya? I need a haircut. Now, how far away did the JCs live from us? Half a mile. So what you're saying is that somebody broke into that house, and a week later, they came back and abducted the kid. How come the FBI didn't tell us about this? We didn't know about the robbery, sir. Who's this? This is Agent Honeycutt. He's heading up the investigation. Don't you people talk to the Beverly Hills police? Yeah, excuse me, sir. Were you wearing that necklace when he answered the door? Yeah. Yes. You've got two name attorneys living a couple blocks from one another. Both have young sons, firstborn sons, same ransom demand. Why didn't he just take the necklace? It's worth as much as the ransom. He was in a hurry. Oh, my guy isn't stupid. Your guy. A, we're dealing with a copycat crime, or B, we're dealing with a cop that's hiring some loser to do his dirty work. What does that look? Nothing, no. Well, I know a look when I see a look. Take your shot, babe. Say what you got to say. I think you're completely in the dark. Well, I know you think you're supremely precocious, but I've been with the Bureau twice as long as you. Which is why it's amazing you haven't learned how to talk to people. People listen to me. I don't put them to sleep when I talk. Diatomaceous earth? Give me a break. I'm sorry, I just, I want to kill this son of a bitch. It's a figure of speech. Let's get a beer. I'm kidding. See how serious she is? She has no sense of humor. You too. I gave him his medicine. Excellent. I think maybe I should uh, up the ante. More than 250? She's got jewelry worth three times that much. 
Oh, no, she was wearing this? Yeah. How did I miss it? <laughs> right. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Who is this? It's Pete Honeycutt. Who are you trying to reach? Pete, this is David Furman. What is it? Well, you called me. I didn't call you. You called me. I was fast asleep. Hello, David. Hello, Pete. Who's that? Listen, I just called to tell you that, uh, that Davey is fine. Uh, he's taking his uh, asthma medication. Sleeping soundly. Oh, Pete, I didn't wake you up, did I? Well, that's right. You're working around the clock, aren't you? <laughs> what do you want? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, what I want is uh, $20 pills. 12,500 of them, as a matter of fact. And how am I supposed to accomplish that? Hey, you're the lawyer. You figure it out. <laughs> now, listen, tomorrow, uh, I want you to take 6th Street downtown to the uh, wholesale produce market. The first light, take a right, go around the corner, uh, take the 7th Street entrance. There's a phone booth right there. That's tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock, OK? And Pete, uh, well, forget it. Matter of fact, if I see any FBI at all, the kid dies. Hello? Hello? He's gone. Pete, who is this guy? I don't know, but it's good he's talking to us. It's very good. I'll be over in the morning, you OK? What am I supposed to do? I know it seems impossible, but try to get some rest. Yeah, right. Well, good night. Good night. What was that? It was uh, someone who needs Dad's help. Come on, I gotta get you back to bed. Got a big day tomorrow. Are we gonna play ball? Yeah, son, I gotta go into work. But it's Sunday. I know, but another boy's been kidnapped. Can I go with you like I did today? No. Are you gonna take me back to mom's? Tell you what, we'll eat some breakfast, you hang out with your mom for a few hours, we'll meet at the park, we'll play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Sleep well, son. Take groceries away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably send you two, three phones first. Just not going to happen. You won't get so crazy. Harrison? I want you not to How did he get your number? Off some computer, huh? But did you yeah, not set up a tap and trace? It's down with Ellis. I'm not worried. Hey, Jing Yi. job I ever had was in the market. Went back later and robbed it. What'd you get? Six months. Good behavior. You did time? I was 19. I was green. I figured I'd get caught. I needed to see what jail was all about. Make a couple of friends, contact here, there. Mostly a bunch of morons. So how'd you get a government job? <laughs> You've been to a post office lately? Seen who works there? <laughs> uh, I guess I slipped through the cracks.
home. No. Definitely not cool. Nothing's happening. Nothing. He ain't coming. David, I'm sorry. I mean, he must have... Yeah. Honey, cut. Petey. Petey, Petey, Petey. What are you gonna learn? I told you, no FBI. Now you gotta tell Mr. Furman his kid's in great danger. I just... Well, I'll be in touch. Hey. You're late. Yeah, we had a break in the case. Looked like we were gonna... I don't care. I'm sorry. You say that a lot. Wanna play? We should go. My outs. Why? You were late. Oh yeah? We don't flip, we don't do nothing else. All of a sudden that's gonna be it. It's my outs. He goes up! Oh no! He shoots, he's gone! Oh! Oh! Good shot, good shot. Oh, no. Have you been watching the news about that little Furman boy that was kidnapped? If the kid is dead, that's tragic. But if he's not, I'm not all that upset. <laughs> Lawyers. They're always taking advantage of people. It's sort of like a Robin Hood kind of thing, don't you think? Yeah, I'll tell you the truth, I uh, haven't been following it. Buddy. You like my little joint, huh? It is terrific. Hey, listen, buddy, why don't you sit down here and talk to the, uh, the ladies in there? I've got to make a call. Oh, I'd love to. You know, Gigi, this is uh, Rebecca. <laughs> hey, pal, are you all right? It's all over the TV. The mother's having a nervous breakdown. The FBI's calling it their number one priority right now. Just take it easy, OK? I just came from the house. Kitty's on a hunger strike or something. He won't take his medication. I can't even call the doctor. 
Arthur, please. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Start over. I can hardly understand you. What, is this a joke? Frankie, is this you? Then who is it? How come you sound like you're chewing on a washcloth? All right, take it easy. The who? He said, I'll blow his brains out if I don't get the money. A quarter of a million in $20 bills. You have no idea who this guy is or why he would call you. I guess he thought I could be of assistance. You want to know my hunch? I think some mobster's shaking your tree. How come he knew the ransom demand? I can't be sure he did, can I? All I know is you know it. Fine. This is great. You know, I, I call you guys hoping to be of service to my country. Next thing I know, I'm talking to some punk agent who's out of options, and he's hinting I should call my attorney. I'll tell you what, if this fellow calls again, I'll keep it to myself. And you can go on wasting the taxpayer's money. Don't worry, buddy. If he calls again, we'll be listening. Better warn your bookmaker. Hello? Are you ready for instructions? I gotta talk to the kid first. Hello? Hello, Davey? Uh, this is a friend of your dad's. What is the name of your pet turtle? Misty? That's right. Uh, put the man back on. Okay. Hello. Okay, we can proceed. Uh, let me tell you what the terms are. First, no more phone calls. And second, uh, you got to bring the kid because his dad's going to be along. I want both parents along. I will deliver the child to Union Station. Metro line at platform. Across from your place, 7.30 tonight. The famines will wait at the entrance to the main station. You go downstairs, drop the satchel, by the escalator near the train. I drop the kid. He comes running to you. And everyone goes home happy. Ask him why he wants both parents along. Why do you want both parents along?
are you doing? They might see us. The kid is there. Okay. Would you like a drink? You sure? It's cold. It's good. I should have known. Well, where are they, honey? Cut, I think we've been stood up. Turn around. He's right in front of your face. I don't see any kid. What the hell? Well, what do you want me to do? Turn around. How's Davey? Couple of bruises. Trace has got a busted leg. How bad? Flesh wound. What can you say? Sir. Take a moment along, sir, prisoner, please. please. All right, you sir. Be quiet. Sir, please don't let him give me any drugs. I had osteomyelitis when I was 14 years old. They gave me a Demerol habit. That's how I landed in jail. Let's talk about the JC job. I don't know anything about that. I was in jail. Oh, you know who did it, don't you? Ah! You're looking at kidnapping with bodily harm. That's life without parole. I death. never harmed the kid, you know that. Took a shot at an FBI agent holding a small child. Gotta hate to see him gas the wrong guy, wouldn't you? Where was your mentor today? Mentor? Ah! Deserted you, huh? What kind of cop is he? He is a cop, isn't he? I'm getting warm, aren't I? Aren't I, Oliver? Come on, come on. Sam. When he grabbed that kid, I, I swear I heard Sam calling for help. I, I, I just went crazy. You, um, you want something to eat? No, 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 I'm, I'm fine, thanks, I am. Uh, I mean, Sam, do you say anything? Does he understand? You're, um, you're gonna be a show and tell tomorrow. <laughs> or making things up. And my dad was always gone. And he worked those two jobs, and I mean, he loved me, but he thought he was supposed to work all the time. 
And that's what honorable men did. And that's all I knew. I thought I was doing things just right. You gotta believe me. I know. I'm sorry. I miss you. Who knows you're here? I, nobody. I Hello? Yeah, Pete. Hey, they're not paying you enough, pal. <laughs> well, I bet your family's real proud, though, huh? How's it going? Oh, it couldn't be better. Couldn't be better, thanks. Uh, when, when I couldn't get you at your apartment, I thought you might be at this number. Uh, listen, uh, I got a little favor to ask of you. Go ahead. I... Who is that? Is that you, uh... Margaret? Is that you? Oh, n never mind. Pete, listen, uh, a little favor. Uh, you're going to have to lay off my, my boy. I can't do that. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to. Or what? Oh, Pete, come on. You know, I got a very fertile imagination. I mean, the last. Oh, wait a minute. I, I, I got to go. I'll, I'll be talking to you. Oh, by the way, uh, how is uh, little Sam? Times has he called? Two, three times. You're having our phone tapped. It's a precaution. How does he know our names? He's got access to everything. DMV, birth records. What are we calling? My sister. He's not coming after Sam. How do you know what he's going to do? Because there's no money in it. He's bluffing. He's trying to get my goat. If you want to go to your sister's, I'll take you. What are you doing up? I heard you guys arguing. Not arguing. Come on, back to bed. Are you going to stay? I don't know. Why can't you and Mom just get along? Look, I'm going to do better. I promise. Good night, Dad. Good night. Night, Sam. You got to promise too, Mom. I promise. Good night, Mom. Beth, I got 36 agents working under me. I can spare a couple to watch you and Sam. He called me Margaret. That's your name. I haven't used Margaret in 10 years. Every insurance form, every credit whoa, whoa, card. When did you change? After we got married. How'd you get it? Oh, when Sam was born. Uh, birth certificate? No. Well, what has all of our names on it? I mean, who knows everything about everybody? Signed him out. Why didn't you call the FBI? He wasn't with the FBI. He was with the IRS. So you know. Why didn't you call the IRS? It's not part of the procedure. All right, let me see the paperwork. Don't tell me you don't have the paperwork. Yes, I have the paperwork. And please try to control your temper. Check Tracy's prison record, find out how many times it's been signed out and by whom, and get a list of all sign outs in the last five years. Right. Cross check those with all unsolved kidnappings and burglaries. You want to hear the diatomaceous earth report? <sighs> yeah, fine, all right. Sure. We went back to the original samples. It contains both fresh and salt water organisms. Well, is that good news or bad news? It's good news. It narrows our search for the factory by a hundredfold. Right. Here's the signature. Oh, the Tracy. I can't read that. What does that say? Well, what is it? It says Pete Honeycutt. Pete. Yeah. Another break-in at the Furman's. They got the jewels she was wearing the day of the kidnapping. It's not they, it's he. And I want an agent in my house 24 hours a day. I want him taking my kid to school. I want him staying there, and I want him bringing him home. You want him inside the school? Yeah, fine. He can even teach class.
Arthur? How about me? Oh. Sorry about that. You've been really quiet. <clears throat> you ain't mad at me. No. How long am I signed out for? 12 hours. Burglary? Nope. There you uh, go. Be careful. Uh, <sighs> so the FBI's putting on the screws. Yeah, Pete Honeycutt. Arthur, I didn't tell him anything. Good. He thinks that I pull both jobs. Yeah. And that's something. Did you get the jewelry? You know, when I was 13 years old, my dad took me hunting once. I remember he taught me how to make a fire. And he said, son, go back into the forest and get some more wood. I said, dad, we don't need any more. But he was adamant, no, I need some more wood. And they pull that thing down, you know. Sure, Artie. So uh, back in I go, and I'm uh, picking up this wood. And all of a sudden, I hear this crack, like this. Well, I dropped that wood, and I came running out of that forest as fast as my feet could carry me. And I nearly tipped over his dead body. Okay, Roy, take that blindfold off. Come on out. There you go. What do you want me to dig? A hole. But yay wide, six feet deep. Where? Right here. This wouldn't be my grave, would it? <laughs> You're my friend, aren't you? At least I thought you were my friend. I'm never ashamed to ask a, a friend for help. Makes sense. People who need people, right? Right. They are the luckiest people in the world. Six feet deep? Mm-hmm. About six. Okay, Roy. Give me the shovel. Give me the shovel. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed are the Come on, fruit. Cinderella. Or you turn into a pumpkin. Thanks. Hope we get a chance to work together again soon. Take care. What is it? Beth is an answer.
Where have you been? The dentist. Why are you here? What's wrong? Uh, nothing, nothing. I just I forgot something. I needed it. That's it. Hey, pal. You okay, Dad? Sure. Hello? Is Pete Honeycutt there, please? Pete, it's Lily. Is everything okay there? Yeah, everything's fine. I got something for you, babe. A cross-check for robberies. And? I'm gonna put someone on for you, okay? Hold on. Mr. Honeycutt, I know the man you're looking for. If you can protect me, sir, I'd like to cut a deal. He comes to see me in the joint. Tells me he's connected with the government. He knows my family has some tax problems, but I'd like him to go away. I say, yeah, sure. He says, well, you went to jail for armed robbery. Would you like to keep your hand in? A week later, he signs me out. And he never told you his name? Just his first name. Amazing. What is it? Arthur. Arthur. Just one name. Like Prince or Madonna. Come on, Roy. How many jobs did you do for Arthur? I was a lookout, that's all. I didn't even drive the getaway car. What did Arthur need you for? Likes having people around. What do you mean? Well, he can't bear to be alone, you know? He can't eat alone, he can't go to the movies alone. Where's Oliver Tracy? Never heard of him. You're gonna take the fall, Roy, for the whole deal. He's dead, isn't he? I don't know. I think he killed him. Did you, Roy? You can tell us. I never saw the body. All I did was dig the hole. Roy? Where was this? I just, uh, this pad, this, uh, this hideout. And what kind of area was that? Industrial. Do any of these factories ring a bell? I don't know. I remember there was a smokestack. I'm letting him sign you out again. I don't know anything about any kidnappings. I swear my mother's eyes. I'm setting you up. I'm letting Arthur sign you out. Gar! Come on, guys. Kill him, Pete. I don't care where this sorry piece of trash buys it. Gar! Pete! Milo! Arthur. Milo. Call the IRS, find out which office Milo's in. I'll call Ellis to tell him what's happening. Take a message in my home where to find him. Right. No question, he's gonna do it again. Excuse me, if you could just tell me what you're looking for. Current files, target cases. We've started going after loan out corporations, is that sort of thing you need? Hey, you can't go through Mr. Milo's files. What's this? A warrant. This can't be the same Arthur Milo. Pete. He used to be an elite unit that guarded the president. I guess they don't screen any better than you guys. Thank you. 
mister? Oh, boy, you scared me. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that, you know it? Who are you? Oh, I'm just the, uh, the silver man. I have to take all this silver and polish it up for your mom and dad. You must be Donnie, right? Uh-huh. So why aren't you on vacation? I didn't want to go. Oh. Uh -huh. Who's taking care of you? Housekeeper? That would be uh, Maria, right? Where's Maria? She's next door. Next door? Just jabbering with her friends, huh? <laughs> you must be lonely here, huh? Kind of hard. When parents, mom and dad, go off and leave you all alone. You love your dad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder why he, uh, why he left you all alone. Well, I'll tell you something. If I were your dad, I wouldn't leave you all alone. Oh, I've got to get something out of the truck. You want to help me? No. No? No? How come? Huh? How come you're so unfriendly? I have to go. Come on, hey, Doc. Where are you going, pal? Come here a minute. Games, huh? Okay. Hi, this is Lynch. Get you. This is Don. Please leave a message at the. This message is for Arthur. This is the FBI. Leave the boy where he is. Come out the front door with your hands clasped behind your head. Listen to me, Donnie. If you ever want to see your mom and dad again, you behave yourself. Do you understand that? Not a sound. Did you get that, Milo? Give yourself up. I promise you, you'll stay alive. Any trouble? Make sure they let me administer the gas. Who is this? Nice to hear your voice again. It's Pete Honeycutt. Never heard of it. This is the plumber. Oh, come on, Milo. We've been to your place. We've been in your computer. It's all over. Hey! That's a good move, Arthur. That one's gonna count in your favor. SWAT team. Milo? 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 Why don't you go after some real criminals? Milo? Milo?
Hey. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing here? Your face is all over the news. Playing ball with Sam. Want to stay for dinner? Just dinner. I'd be okay with you. <laughs> 